Hi, this is Troy Dreyer coming to you from Streaming Media East 2016, New York City, where I'm talking with some of the leaders of the online video space. Joining me right now is Bharat Krish, CEO of a new company called Tact, which is spelled T-A-K-T, uh, formerly of HBO. You just left and started your own company. Congratulations. Thank you. What does Tact provide? So uh, Tact uh, provides, uh, helps companies build uh, streaming media strategies. Mm -hmm. uh, what that means is providing uh, technology solutions, uh, integration of uh, various technologies, and also go-to-market strategy mm -hmm. um, with their streaming media solution. Mm -hmm. So one of the things you do is help people with the technical challenges of streaming? So it's a, 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 it leads from the content uh, to how does technology apply to their business? Uh, as opposed to you know, pro providing uh, ready-made technology, but how does uh, what is the need for the business, and then applying the right technology to that to that need. And you're so, working with major media clients, right? Like your right. previous employer. Yeah. So HBO is one of my clients, mm -hmm. uh, and so are uh, a few cable clients as well, cable mm -hmm. companies. And these are companies that are very big in linear space but don't know live so much? What do they need help with? What challenge? So they, uh, they are very big in linear space. They are either linear content uh, generators or, or they are cable companies that uh, provide cable to home. Uh, and they are very strong in linear space, but not as, uh, don't, may not have as much expertise in the digital space. Mm -hmm. and what do they need to know? So they, um, I mean, one of the things they need uh, is be able to provide a, technology end-to-end -end solution for delivering their content to multiple consumer devices um, and be able to do that um, with, with really good quality and also what the customer is expecting from them. Um, so um, the part of the problem is uh, going to uh, which technology suits their needs and that's where I come in and my company comes in to figure out uh, what technologies are in the market that uh, that can suit their needs. Um, some of those uh, technologies are actually in this show as well uh, that I'm, I'm speaking to and um, building partners. With. Now, you were on a panel uh, about OTT subscription services, changing gears a little bit, um, and what it takes to succeed in OTT subscriptions. Uh, a lot of companies, including HBO, um, have done it done well with original content. Is that the key to succeeding in OTT with subscription services? I mean, if original con having original content is is a huge bonus, uh, but but uh, companies don't really need to have original content to succeed. Um, but they need to have a strategy for having really good content and also a great catalog that can be dynamic, vibrant. Uh, and also being able to uh, showcase that content and, uh, to their customers in a more curated fashion. So, mm -hmm. Do you have a sense of how many OTC subscriptions people will tolerate before it's too many? It's difficult to say. I mean, I, I would say there is there is a need for a particular channel for a particular person. Mm -hmm. So it all depends on the taste and need for the person. Um, somebody who's interested in dance channel would. Uh, uh, dance would love to uh, have a subscription for a dance only OTT service um, but what's important is having quality channels not um, you know substandard OTT services uh, uh, cluttering the market but having quality OTT services that are that are, are providing to the niche audience sounds like you see a lot of room for growth oh absolutely Absolutely. Well, thank you, Bharat. Uh, this is Troy Dreyer coming to you from Streaming Media East.